Steam has some hidden settings and features you might not know about. Like this one where if you go to your store and then interactive recommender, it gives you your own personalized recommendation page of games you should get. You can even see your total game hours played on Steam and there's some more filter options if you want to filter even more. Now this next one is how you can find free stuff. On the store page, just click on the search icon and on here, click special offers and then just put the price to zero. And as you can see, there's a Steam game and some DLCs you can add to your library for free. This next tip is how you can get rid of this news pop-up when you launch Steam. Just go to the top left, click on Steam, Settings, go to Interface, scroll down, and at the bottom here, notify me about additions or changes to my games, new releases, and upcoming releases. Just uncheck that. And now when you launch Steam, you will not get that annoying pop-up. Another thing you can do in this window is you can change the startup screen when you launch Steam. So right now when I launch, it just launches the store page, but you can change this to your library, news, friend activity, or community home. So for example, if I click library and then relaunch Steam, it will open it right to my library. This next tip is how you can hide what games you have in your library or total playtime on a game. In case you want to hide a certain type of game you're playing, if you know what I mean, just go to your profile name at the top here and it'll bring you to your privacy settings page. Now right here where it says game details, you can click this drop down menu and choose either friends only, public or private. If you choose private, it will completely hide all the games that you have on your Steam account and the hours you played on them. You can also do this for your friends list if you want that to be public, private or friends only and also your Steam inventory. So sometimes when you're looking for a game to buy, it can get annoying if you keep seeing a game you already own or maybe you own it on another platform. So you can actually hide these games. So for example, if you click on a game and this is maybe one you own on another platform, you can hit this ignore button. But even better, there's this drop down menu and you can click played on another platform. Now why do this rather than just hitting the ignore? Cause if you use stuff like that recommendations page, this will still be used as data to recommend you stuff. And to hide games you already have in your Steam library, you can just go to Steam, settings, account details, store preferences, now just scroll down till you see search options and this first box, if you check it, it'll hide items you already have in your library. There's also hide ignored items, hide items on my wish list, and enable infinity scroll when searching. What this last one does is when you go to search for something, like in this case, I'll do survival. And since I have that enabled, it'll let me just infinitely scroll through all the survival games on Steam. And for some reason, if you don't like that, you can uncheck it. And when you go to the search results, instead of infinite scroll, it'll just have pages if for some reason you like that more. Now back in the Steam settings again, if you go to the storage tab, you can manage your storage. It'll show you all the games you have and the size they have on your disc. And if you're looking to free up space and you want to uninstall a whole bunch of games at once, you can just click on these boxes to check them and you can mass uninstall by just clicking this uninstall button down here. You can also install multiple games at once by putting them in a queue. On a game you want to install, just do control click and then go to another game you want to install, just hit control click. You can do this on as many as you want. And when you want to install them, just right click and install selected. This next tip allows you to change friend notifications and also their nickname. Just go to friends and chat in the bottom right. Go to a friend you want to customize. Just right click on them. Go to manage. Here you can add a nickname if you would like. And down here where it says notifications, just click on that. And now you can select your notification settings. So when this friend joins a game, you can make it show a notification or play a sound even. You can also do this for when a friend comes online or when you receive a direct chat message. Oh, and if you're planning on changing these, you have to uncheck use my default notification setting before you can actually change anything. So most people know when you're in a game, if you hit shift tab, it opens up the steam overlay. Something cool you can do with this is you can actually pin stuff to stay on the screen. So what I mean by this, for example, if you're achievement hunting in a game, you can click on this achievements and it'll show you the achievements for the game and whatnot. But if you click this pin at the top, it'll pin the window to the game. So now when you close out of the steam overlay, you can see it's pinned to the screen. Now, obviously to unpin it, just hit shift tab again and you can unpin it right here. Another useful one is the notes here. This one could be really useful if you're playing something like a puzzle game or something and you need to write down a code. Now, there are quite a few more hidden settings and features on Steam that I actually have in a part one video that's on screen now. So if you wanna learn some more, click the video.